Stefan in Romania. He writes to me, he says, I've been following your videos for a few years now. Why, thank you, sir. And a few of them you said, uh-oh, the most ideal audio system would be some speaker wires and a volume control. Okay. If you just want a simple setup, is just the power amp enough? Well, yeah, sure. When we started PS Audio, we had a little phono preamplifier. That's how we started the company. And we didn't have a preamp. We had extra gain in that phono preamplifier, and we would play our turntable. Now, you have to have a phono preamplifier in order to make a vinyl record come out correct because a vinyl record is EQ'd like this. So the highs are pumped up like 20 dB and the bass is reduced by 20 dB. So now you have to run it through another filter and bring it all back to even. And because the cartridge puts out so little voltage, you need to have greatly amplify that signal. So that's what you need the preamp for. But once you have that preamp and you plug it directly into a power amp, that's awesome. That's a great way to go. And for years, that's what we did. We used to have just a pot, uh, a potentiometer, a volume control on the power amp. And we would just turn that up and down, and that's what we listened to. In fact, going to a preamp was like pulling teeth. My old partner, Stanley, hated the idea. But the problem, of course, from a commercial standpoint, from you know a manufacturer, is people have more than one input. What if you want to play a tuner? What do you do? On a preamp, you have an input selector, tuner, phono, um, I don't know, tape recorder, whatever you wanted to do back then, you would turn the selector and you would get the appropriate input and then control the volume. And that's what a preamp did. So our first preamps had no electronics in them. They were just passive preamps so that we didn't muck up the sound too much between whatever you were feeding it and the power amplifier. And over the years, we've managed to figure out how to make preamplifiers that sound so good, which we couldn't back then, had no clue how to do that, that not only are they not getting in the way, but they are better. So I've demonstrated more than a few times taking the output of our DAC the direct stream DAC and comparing it directly into a power amp versus going through our BHK or a new preamp we have coming up, but that's not till next year. Uh, and it sounds better going through the preamp, which is something we'll talk about over time. But in general, if you don't have a preamp of that quality, then yeah, go directly into your power amp and you'll be better off for it.